Spiky bits. Hey everybody, MBG here today with a look at the newest Forge World kit for the Horus Heresy and Legion play, the Legion Basilisk, which I guess is basically a Mark I Chimera with a you know huge Basilisk Ordnance cannon on the Earthshaker Earth cannon on the back of it. That's crewed by uh, Space Marines, which, of course, you know, way, 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 way back in the 30k day, there was uh, plenty of Space Marines to go around to do things like load uh, breacher shells into <laughs> into uh, huge cannons and hurl them at the enemy. But you know, in the uh, in the far, far future of the 41st millennium, there isn't isn't so many of those guys out there. So uh, I guess it kind of fell to the Imperial Guard to run the Basilisk, or or so the story goes. In, in retrospect, but this seems to be a pretty a pretty neat kit. It's a kind of a clamshell, like two part uh, resin on the outside, plastic on the inside. The new, a relatively new Chimera uh, chassis from, I guess about 2008, 2009. They came out with a new Chimera, where the the tracks actually uh, lock into the chassis itself or the hull itself, as opposed to putting in those little wheels and then trying to trying to figure out exactly where to put the little tra the links of track track sections to match up, which was always took way longer than the than the rest of the kit to put together. It was kind of a nightmare, but you know, <laughs> when you when you're starting out with plastic miniatures, sometimes you know every little every little design is uh, is an adventure. So let's take a closer look at the kit itself. Okay, so here you can see the, uh, I guess it's about 15, 16 components of the actual Legion Basilisk. Of course, there is, let me grab this out here, the two, oh, was it the two Basilisk, or three Basilisk sprues. You got the uh, pre-existing Earth, Earthshaker cannon sprue and uh, actual weapon itself. And then you've got the new uh, Chimera chassis that I was talking about where basically you don't have to, where the treads themselves just kind of link into to the sides of the holes so it's way easier to figure out where they go and things like that. I believe this is also the same one that comes in the Hellhound kit although it's been a hot minute since I put mine together so I don't exactly remember but for the most part I'm pretty sure that's uh, almost almost 100% correct and as always I reserve the right to backtrack. So here's the components for the actual resin parts from Forge World themselves. You get some Mark V Heresy Marines of course, one guy loading a uh, er huge Earthshaker cannon shell and then another uh, Marine I guess basically directing the aim of fire and things like that. It looks like it's got some shells built into the actual superstructure. It's not completely enclosed like a lot of the uh, Basilis out there like the Armageddon patterns and things like that. But it's, it's still pretty neat nonetheless. It's got some components on it from the actual Rhino uh, plastic sprue itself or a little control panel thingy there. Then you got a joystick kind of thing here. I forget if that's actually from the land speeder or from the uh, lightning or the tempest uh, speeder itself. Actually, haven't seen that kit in a hot minute either, but I th I've seen that before. I can't exactly remember where it's from. And then you've got the less left and right halves uh, that are pretty darn near symmetrical there and of course they lock into the plastic sides like I was saying earlier and then you've got the front hull piece here and the whole cover I guess what do they call this the whole top here that basically locks into that rectangle section there and then you sandwich the heavy bolter for the, uh, the point defense fire right into there so it actually moves from left to right and when you sandwich that down then you got your uh, basically turret turret top there that goes right onto it and then this is your uh, the shield, uh, weapon shield, armor plate, and then you've got the uh, piece here that kind of bridges them together in the back and makes the firing compartment, so to speak. So it seems like a pretty neat kit. Uh, there's your plastic components, like I said, sandwiched together here. Very easy, easy peasy, I hope. Um, it looks like they go together good, but it's it's hard to tell from the pictures. Looks like they go way, together way better than some of the Rhino uh, variants that we've seen coming out lately and there's the completed model itself obviously <laughs> very inspiring and not something I want to be on the other, sa uh, other side of the table from that's uh, that's for sure I really like this reinforced reinforced kind of uh, rhino armored ceramite kind of looking look to it like it seems a little bit more heavy duty and maybe almost modular where the kind of like those uh, barriers for uh, traffic and things like that like and uh, where they kind of set them up around the, the guns themselves it's just kind of like uh, armor plating that just kind of locks together, kind of in the same fashion as the uh, Castellum Stronghold, uh, where I guess they drop it from space and then it all kind of bolts and locks together like a uh, transformer combiner. Let's take a look at the actual uh, kit, kit components themselves. So they are right there. 
Uh, I've quite a few in there. I mean, it's not it's nothing too crazy. I mean, obviously, it would go pretty quick. It seems like for the most part. Let's uh, let's take a look. So of course you got your left and your uh, right halves. Like I said, they're pretty symmetrical in their design. So obviously they're using some sort of computer aided uh, things there. Here's your uh, left and right enclosed, or not enclosed, the uh, the firing compartment basically. And there's that component I was talking about that was we've seen that on the Rhino in the past, of course. And there's all your different shells and things like that. And then the back got a little I don't know energy pack or something like that, some sort of thing that powers something, some sort of lights or things like that. Then you've got the front, the front hull here with some pretty good looking detail on it. Definitely pretty cool looking. That's a nice uh, chunk, of, chunk of resin there. And then here's the hull plate that goes right on top. Like I was saying, it's got that square and it locks in. So it locks in the heavy bolter there for the point defense or you know self, self defense fire. Uh, what else we got? Oh, two exhaust stacks that go on either side of the, uh, the armor or the uh, chassis there, which you don't really see on the actual Chimera itself. Supposedly they, they just kind of have a little kind of drop-down exhaust port kind of thing that uh, I've always wondered about exa exactly how that was supposed to work, but I guess it just works and it looks good, so I'm not going to question it. Then you got the uh, heavy bolter that obviously, let's see, like that, locks right into there, and then your top of your, uh, top of your turret to your tank cupola right there. Uh, what else do we got left? Oh, here's the... Oh, I completely mistaken. This is actually a piece. I hadn't looked at this piece yet. This is a piece goes in the back there. So it's like some sort of tow hook or kind of rear bumper sort of thing. And here's the uh, the crew where one of them is holding... What the heck? I'm missing pieces. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. So uh, there's a the crew and there's their uh, shoulder pads there. Nothing too exciting. Just some... Heresy, uh, heresy era things like that. And right here is the uh, basically the armored shield for the basilisk gun itself. It doesn't use the big curved kind of funky looking U. It's just kind of like the I don't know short stylized armored, very uh, very marine, -y, very uh, uh, Stardis look to it. Kind of you know 31st millennium uh, Adeptus Mechanicus look to it. And then here's the arms and things for the uh, the Marines themselves right there where they're Let's see how this go. Oh, I guess like that. So the the one holding the shell just kind of goes up, and the other one is right there pointing. So that looks to be it for the kit. It's uh, obviously a, a very small, you know, model count wise kit, and it goes with the uh, the plastic the plastic pieces themselves. And it seems pretty good. I mean, nothing's nothing's completely like warped or anything super crazy that that I can see here. I think it all go together pretty well, and uh, I can't wait to get to work on this because the uh, the ironware stuff we need some. Uh, <laughs> some heavy support uh back up there so we'll see we'll see how it goes so that's it for this one guys uh it's just a pretty pretty neat kit the new legion basilisk from forge world for uh, games of horus heresy and i'm i'm sure you could tie it into uh you know the imperial guard as well if you if you really want to i i'm, I'm sure there's rules in uh horus heresy book two on this i i personally don't remember it but i'm sure it's in there or we might see some sort of supplement here soon because the uh Carid, this uh assault drop pod also came out, and there isn't any rules for that one yet. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a uh, a middle book, or if they're just going to include it in the uh, book three to the Horus Heresy uh, uh, Istvan saga. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Make sure to stay in the trenches. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blog blog.spikybits.com, and listen to our podcast forgenarrative.com. Spiky bits.